everyone, it's Alan here from Fishing Mad. Well, today we are doing some back to basics land based fishing, and that behind me is the new port power station, which is known locally as the Warmies or the Hotties. And periodically, that pump gets turned on, flushing out a heap of hot water into this inlet here, which creates a bit of a fishing frenzy. And species like salmon, and tailor, and mullet come in far and wide. And I've been here when those pumps are on watching anglers standing side by side catching fish after fish and it's quite a remarkable sight. Now the story is very different today. Obviously that pump is not on. It's only three degrees at the moment. It's blowing 30 kilometer winds. It's almost high tide. So you're gonna have to be a bit creative because those kitchens are a little bit challenging. Now what I have done is I've brought a couple of different outfits with me. I'm gonna throw out a few baits and see if we can get onto some of those smaller species that you're used to catching here. And then I'm gonna walk up and down those rocks flicking some soft plastics, your two and a half inch grubs and paddle tails, and seeing what we can get onto. Now typically without that pump on, you're gonna catch here a lot of bait trout, which are juvenile salmon, maybe some bigger salmon, definitely mullet, pinkies, brim, and obviously the prize catch that you could do here if you had some liveys or some big baits would be a big mull away, and it doesn't get much better than that. Anyway guys, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Who knows what we're gonna catch, but let's get fishing. There we go, got one. Got one, that didn't take long. Third cast of the day. What do we got? Oh. Salmon, look at that. All right. Well, there you go, that didn't take long. That was the third cast of the day. All I'm flicking at the moment is just one of these three inch Slim swims on a 112th, and uh, that's not a tiny one, so um, a lot of fun on the light stuff, and uh, that's pretty good after three casts. So, beautiful little bay trout. I should better climb down these rocks and just let him go really nice and gently. There we go. <laughs> Wrong way, buddy. Here we go, here we go. I'll let you go there. There he goes. No, he's not really sure. <laughs> and away he goes. There you go. Well, that's three bay trout in three casts. Now just flicking the three inch slim swim in that bad shad color. So might be time to change tactics and see if we can catch something else. That's okay. Oh, whoa, 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 Taya, Taya, Taya. Taya, Taya. This is a good fish. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> go, 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 go. And it was right at that moment that I lost power in the GoPro, but I did manage to land two really nice sized salmon using raw chicken as bait. Great fun on the light stuff. Anyway, plenty of catches still to come, guys. Maybe it's the bait. We don't have to wake up what bait they got. Why'd you go ask? I'm gonna check it on the way back. Got one. Good job. Yep. 
just holding it in my hand. This feels nice, Tail. It's a little brim, I think. There we go. That's so cool. I'm not getting any on the plastics, that's interesting. So there you go, we've got ourselves a little brim. So that was taken just on a little piece of chicken. Beautiful little fish, very healthy. And um, we've been getting lots of our baits just shredded without getting catches. So just holding that one in our hand and uh, it's good to get a catch. So let's let this little guy go. Now bait fishing here, you only really need to use light gear. So all I've got with me today is my one to four kilo rod, my 2500 reel, and that is spooled with eight pound braid. Now what I have done overnight is I set up my own paternoster rig. So that's where you've got two hooks so you can have two baits suspended finished with a small sinker now this is very similar to the whiting rig videos that i have done on the channel the only difference is that i'm using lighter line and i've got smaller size hooks so i'm actually just using size 12 long shank hooks the theory behind that is there's a lot of small fish here your bay trout your mullet and most of them have quite small mouths so you don't want to be using big hooks because what's going to happen is you're going to see a lot of nibbles on your rod tip but you're not going to be getting a lot of hookups but if you use hooks nice and small like that you're going to catch a lot of those smaller size fish in terms of baits small pieces of pilchard pieces of bread bit of raw chicken get creative there's a lot of different things you can get out there but this is a rig that you'll definitely catch a few fish with around here oh, he's putting the bells on mate there's about eight toadies within about a foot of my plastic <laughs> Yeah, he wants it, this one here, look at him. He's real aggressive, that one. Oh! <laughs> the Yarra River is one of those really funny metro systems, guys. You, you have a look at the water clarity and you know all the boat traffic and the pollution in here, and you'd be thinking, Geez, there can't be any good fish that are in here, but you've got to kind of overlook that browny water colour and all the debris that flies through because there is actually some really good fish in here, whether it's mulloway, whether it's snapper, whether it's brim. Um, I've caught whiting in here. I've caught gummy sharks in here. It's actually a really good array of fish. You've just got to sort of overlook the fact that that water is so bad. So whether you'd actually eat something from here or not, well, I guess that's up to the individual, but... In terms of bait fishing and fishing with plastics and lures, it actually is a really good fishery that you know pretty much goes through the heart of Melbourne. And at the moment, I have got one rod out there that's got a little bit of raw chicken on it, hoping that you know maybe get a flathead or a pinky or a mullet that might come by. And on this one here, we've got some smaller baits there, hoping that that might buckle, which might be a brim or a mullet. So again, don't get discouraged. Just. Uh, positive vibes and hopefully we can get a couple of fish in this short time span that we've got today. Oh, here we go. Nibble already. Yeah, I think that's on. Well, there we go, we've been here for five minutes. I've had uh, a rod in the water all of about 30 seconds on this side. What have we got? actually starting to feel a bit better as it gets a bit closer look at the watercolor so this is pleasing oh what is this oh, a little flooded look at that Awesome. So we've just moved across to the other side just because that tide's getting down a little bit. All I was doing is getting snagged up and well there you go. That is our third species in about 20 minutes. So we've got a nice little broom, a nice little flathead and we also got that little bay trout earlier. So not a big guy so obviously we're going to let him go on his way but um, you know what it's great for land based fishing. They can come out and still catch a couple of fish and uh, beautiful little flatty. Let's get him on his way. So this is one of your issues around here. You get these starfish in plague proportions. I mean, sometimes by the absolute thousands in the shallows around here. And what they like to do is they like to just grab and sit on your bait straight away.
Is he coming close? Very close, eh? Hey? Well, that's a wrap everyone and thanks for watching. You know what, it might be winter, but there's no reason why you can't get out, rug up by putting up some warm clothes. We're only 10 minutes away from the Melbourne CBD and you can have a lot of fun targeting those bread and butter species without any fancy gear, just getting out and enjoying yourself. Anyway guys, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and until next time, good fishing everyone.